Welcome back for day two of module five, lesson two, where we're continuing our study into integers. Once again, today, we're gonna to be going outside and forming a human number line where we're gonna go beyond just using the positive and negative integers and adding in some decimal values and some fractions and mixed numbers. And you're gonna to have to find out where you fit in that number line, having it all properly spaced. When we're done with that, we're going to return to the class and we're going to start working on this part of the lesson. It says the water level in the lake rose 1.25 feet after it rained. Answer the following questions using the number line below. So first off, it says to write a rational number to represent the situation. Well, that rational number to represent the situation is going to be a, oh, let me change my pin to the right screen here, boom, here we go, is going to be a positive 1.25 feet because it rose one and a quarter feet. And part B says, what two integers is 1.25 between on the number line? Well, that is going to be between the integer 1 and the integer 2. Then part C says, write the length of each segment on the number line as a decimal and a fraction. Hmm. So if I'm understanding that right, we're going to be going between one and two. So we're going to have one, which is 1.0. Let's move this up a little bit so you can hear it, see it past my head. This would be 2.0. And in between that, we would have 1.25. It says, um, and a fraction, so it's also known as one and one fourth. Above that, we're going to have, let's change our color so we can keep track of everything. We probably need to go really tiny with our numbers. This would be 1.5, also known as one and one half. And then we've got one more that we're gonna squeeze in here. This can be 1.75, also known as one and three fourth. So that answered part C. And then that finally said, what will the water level be after it rained? Well, if it started out here at zero, that means right there is where our new water level is gonna be. And it says graph the point on the number line and it's gonna take place at 1.25 feet. So there we have answered everything we need to answer for Question one, I do believe, oh, nope, there's more. Let, let's keep going. It says, after two weeks have passed, the water level of the lake is now the opposite of the water level when it rained. What is the new water level? Okay, now, one thing I don't like is the, the statement when, because the when implies when the rain started, which means that it started, the water level was zero, and the opposite of zero is zero. That's not what we're talking about. What we're talking about here is after the rain was stopped. So after the rain stopped, we were at a positive 1.25 feet, or one in 2,500 feet. So we want to know what's the new water level. Well, the opposite of a one and twenty, whoops, one and twenty-five hundreds is a negative one and twenty-five hundreds, which goes to the opposite direction on the other number line. Well, we're going to graph that and explain that, how we would turn, determine our answer. Well, we need to start off down here by taking and labeling these parts. So that's a negative 1.25, this will be a negative 1.5, and this will be a negative 1.75. And if we were to fill in the other blanks in between here, that would be a negative 0 0.25, a negative 0 0.5, and a negative 0 0.75. So when we plot this new point on the number line, it's going to take place right here at the negative 1.25. So that has answered part E. Part F says state a rational number that is not an integer whose value is less than 1.25. Describe its location between two consecutive integers on the number line. So we can pick any number 
any rational number, which means it has to be a non-terminating, non-repeating decimal value or a fractional value that is less than 1.25. So I'm going to pick the number of, let's say, 0 0.75 could be any number less than 1.25. And then we're going to describe its relation between two consecutive numbers on the number line. Well, my description is going to say that, let's get some space to type here, 0 0.75 is 3 fourths of the way between 0 and 1. And that would end up answering that part of the question for us. So we've completed the first page. The second page is going to be fun because on the second page, you are going to be writing your own story problem. After you write your own story problem, we're going to put some of them up on the board in order to go over them in class. Give you a hint. What could your story problems look like? Well, for starters, your story problem could take and look something like this that we did. Or, hold on, as the answer key, their story says their story problem look like this. So you can use that as a good template for how you're going to write your, whoops, went too far, for how you're going to write your story problem. And then you can, once again, we'll be going over those in class. When we're done with the story problems, what are you going to do? Well, then you're going to dive straight into your assignment, which is what you're going to be actually turning in for a grade. Of course, that assignment is on a separate sheet of paper, and it's going to look just like this one here, where once again, you're going to be answering a series of questions about this number line and what the different values on it represent, gaining a deeper, stronger understanding of integers positive and negative values, and how they all fit together on the number line. I look forward to seeing you in class tomorrow.